Isan Food from Northeastern Thailand hit New York City like a steamroller just as the new century was arriving. This cuisine, with its salads of ground pork and shredded green papaya, with its stir fries of duck and hog jowl, and its sour sausages served with raw slices of ginger, was a breath of fresh air for diners accustomed to the heavy curries and tooth-achingly sweet pad thais of the city's traditional Siamese eateries. Restaurants highlighting Isan food soon opened in quick succession. In Elmhurst, there was Chow Thai and Chow Thai Too. In Jackson Heights, Zab Thai, which spun off Zab Ali in the East Village. Old Timer Sripafai renovated and expanded. And in Astoria, there was Poo Dam, named after its diminutive dark skinned chef, Rachini Sumpit Boom, nicknamed Poo Dam, which means black crab. I was small and dark skinned, she told me, and the nickname stuck. Though she was born and raised in Isan, she and her late husband ran a restaurant in Bangkok until she emigrated to the United States in 2005. Her timing was perfect, and she cooked in a succession of places that were proactive in popularizing Isan. Her first gig was at Chow Thai in Elmhurst. I first worked in the front of the house, she told me, before they realized I could cook. Next, in 2007, she got her own place in Eastern Astoria, Pudam. At the time, it provided the best Isan food in the city, plus a good measure of the Chinesey Northern Thai fare of the city of Chiang Mai. But the restaurant wasn't right for the neighborhood and soon closed. Now, after a stint at Zabili, she has her own place in Manhattan on 9th Avenue in Hell's Kitchen, named Larb Yubal. The name comes from her hometown of Uban Rachachani on the Moon River in southeastern Isan. Of the 24 Thai restaurants located on 9th Avenue in Hell's Kitchen, Hers is the only one to specialize in Isan cuisine, and you won't find any of the conventional Thai curries on the menu. Wearing her signature orange Yankees cap, Pudam shows us how the salad known as Som Tam is made using shredded green papaya, peanuts, dried shrimp, bird chilies, and salt-preserved egg doused with lime juice. The final step involves a good smashing in a giant mortar to combine the flavors. The salad is offered in a stunning eight variations, commanding a separate prep counter in the narrow kitchen. She also shows us how to stir fry another of her signature dishes, Pad Ped Moo Crab, which includes crisp swatches of pork with basil, green peppercorns, Thai eggplants that look like miniature watermelons, and the wild ginger called galangal, stir fried in a spice paste. The result is crunchy, briny, and spicy as all get out. If you haven't tried Isan food before, you've never tasted anything quite like it, and Larbubal is a good place to start.